Hello everyone. Uh, today I just want to show you what we wear during services. There are a few things that we wear. I'm not going to give a full background history of everything that we put on, uh, but I just want to give you a picture and show you what we do back here in the sacristy. Remember we learned something about the sacristy? This place is also called the vestry. We vest. It's the, when you put on things, we are vesting. We are not just putting on things that we are, they call it vesting. Okay, what we do first is put on what they call the alba. Alba. This is the word alb. Okay, and the alb is the white, it's like a white gown uh, that we put on. This is what we do. Does it have pockets? It has pockets. Okay, I don't know if we have tight fit proper or not, but And Jean was asking whether it has pockets. <laughs> yes, it has pockets. That's where I put the microphone uh, so that I can uh, turn it on and uh, turn it off. So this is the owl. It's always white. It symbolizes the purity, what we do there, uh, the, the sanctity of what we do there at the altar. So most most alps, I think uh, every alp is, is white because even the word alb comes from the Latin word albis or albino. Have you ever heard about the word albino? It's white, not colorless in a sense. So this is the meaning of alb, al albis from the Latin word. Uh, and then after that, we have the cincture. This is called the cincture. Many priests have got different ways of uh, putting it on, but the purpose of the cincture is to hold the alb and the next item I'm going to put on, which is the stall. So normally, uh, we, I, I usually do it this way and turn it in. I don't know how to teach you to do this, but this is what I do. And then go on the side. Who taught you how to do that? In the seminary, they taught us how to do this. So in the seminary, so seminary is like college for becoming a priest. The right? seminary is for college, yeah, for becoming so a priest. So there was a class that included how to tie the vestments. Yes, that's how we do it. And so after this, I put on the stall. This is called the stall. They say, technically, this is the most important vestment that the priest put on. This is the symbol of ordination. This is the symbol of being a clergy. And uh, I, I don't want to talk everything about the history, but this was during the Roman Empire time, whereby any officer, the Roman officer who had some kind of power and authority, they had this. And on it, they had different symbols to mark their rank. So when uh, the church, uh, the, the, the priests became church officials, I mean uh, Roman officials, they took on this as well. So this is kind of something that shows the symbol of priesthood. So if I don't have anything to, to put on during the Mass, this one will be just enough. This will be enough to save us, and everything should be fine. Okay, and most time you have to put it under there so that it stays in place. Oh. That's the point of it. That's fancy. It stays in place. That's, that is the store. So I have a question. So when you said that 
during the Roman times, there would be different symbols on the stole. So yeah. that reminded me of what people wear at graduation sometimes. Yes. Professors mm -hmm. with different, is that, are those two things related? Very related, yeah. There, there might be like uh, three stripes, yeah. and those kind of things. Then they, you can know the rank of the, of the official. Right. Yeah, that's why it kind of was. So this is when uh, priests get um, ordained, mostly the biggest gift that you give to the priest as a parish, you give the star. That is the sign of the installation, the star. Okay? And after that, we have what they call the chasuble. This is the chasuble and the same color. Normally where you, when you wear a star, you wear it with the same color as the chasuble. And we were talking a bit about colors, but every color, every season has got its own colors. So this is the purple, and it will be used for what? For Lent. This will be used for Lent. And so I put on this one, let me show you how I put it on. And you, you just put it on top. In, in history, you, you, this used to be like an outer garment for the Roman officials. An outer garment is uh, it's, it's like a clock that protects you. And you will notice that it is open here. This to, it helps you to be able to use your hands freely. That's why it's always open this side and it is kind of halfway so that you can use your hands. Okay, any? It's that heavy? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit heavy, but not too heavy. So that one would be used during Lent. And yes. so Lent where we are, it's cold here, so that wouldn't get too hot because it's pretty cold in the church when you're wearing that. Yes. When you wear the different colors for um, like ordinary time, right. and a lot of ordinary time takes place in the summer, is right. that lighter weight or is that still heavy? It's still the same. It's still, it's still, heavy. It's still, it's still the same, yeah. The ordinary color we use mostly will be green. This we use way, way more times than uh, any other color. I think the least ones we use will be red, red and blue, even this one, just for Lent season. But this one is for a long, long, long time uh, during the, the, year, the church year. Do we have any questions? How many times? Do you wear red only once? Uh, there are many different times you can wear it. Oh, really? Okay. Like major feasts, actually, like ordination sometimes, the priests um, want to do red. There's Pentecost. Uh, if you are celebrating uh, a, a saint, a martyr, because red is a sign of blood okay. of the martyrs, of the saints. So we use those, uh, those uh, at, at that time. Good Friday. Okay. Uh, we wear red. And uh, uh, Palm Sunday, we wear red. So there are different th days that we, we, we wear red. Okay, is there any questions you think the kids might want to know? Um, let's see. So if, if we were to go to another Episcopal church, would the vestments look the same, or are they different in every church that you go to? The particular vestment will be different. I mean... And they have got different prices. And you can, uh, so people will buy whatever they can afford, but the colors will be the same. Okay. We, uh, we have got the colors that we are told to wear, to have. And this is like, you see, this is red. All okay. this uh, uh, April, now we're supposed to be wearing white. Is this the season That's of the season Easter? Of Easter. So this was the season of Lent. And then we have Palm Sunday all the way, and this is Easter. So every church, Episcopal church, we have those colors. So we have a lot of, of white for, for now until we start using green, and green goes on for a long, long, long time. So until we get to Advent, so it'll be all green, 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 until we get to Advent, okay?
All right, so talk to your parents and uh, ask them questions. You can also ask us questions by email. And if there are things we didn't understand about what we wear, we wear, we'll be glad to answer those questions. Have a good day. Thanks. Oh my God. Oh, did we go or not?